Howdy folks, Dbart here with another recipe from the MariaDB cookbook. Today we will be installing MariaDB on CentOS 7. So I've got my handy dandy MariaDB hoodie on so I'm all set and ready to go. So let's dive right into it. First up, let's go online uh, and specifically let's go to MariaDB.org. Uh, MariaDB.org, at MariaDB.org, there's a repository configuration tool. You scroll down, it's here on the left side. Click on that. And like as I said, we are on CentOS. So I'll click on that. We're on CentOS 7, and we want version 10.1 of MariaDB. Uh, once we've chosen the appropriate things in the three boxes, then we get a set of instructions. Here is your custom MariaDB YUM repository entry for CentOS. Copy and paste it into a file under Etsy YUM repos.d. I'll go ahead and highlight that just to make it easy on me. Make sure I get a doo-doo on that and we'll call it MariaDB.repo. So there, now let's switch back and get our repository configuration. Paste that in there. All right. So then, after the file is in place, install MariaDB with the following. So we'll paste that in. And there we go. My internet's been a little bit slow today, so hopefully this will not take long. Uh, it installs those files, uh, including one for dependencies. Go ahead and say yes, and away we go. Okay, we have the file. Now it's going to get the signing key. Um, it gives you the key ID and then the fingerprint, and I happen to know that that is correct. So I'll go ahead and say yes here, if it's okay to import that. And now we go to install. Uh, it'll only ask you the question about the signing key once. Uh, since this was the first time we've installed MariaDB on this box, it had to ask. So installing does not take very long. After it installs the server package, it actually does a few things in the background to get MariaDB set up. That's why it seemed like there was a pause there. All right, they've been installed. They have been verified. And we see one package was replaced. That is just fine. That's what we expected. So now uh, MariaDB is not running. Um, uh, after installation on CentOS or Red Hat or Fedora for that matter, uh, MariaDB is stopped. So our first first thing we want to do post installation is go ahead and start MariaDB. So I'm a creature of habit, so I'm going to use the init script, and it's actually using the system control to do it. Um, if you're on a system that has uh, system D, then it will use that. Um, anyway, everything is started up. Now we can run the MySQL command line client to connect to the server. Uh, by default, the only user that's set up is root, so go ahead and do that. And we connected. Notice that we connected without a password, so our first order of business is to run the MySQL secure installation script. Um, this running this script is highly recommended, um, especially on systems uh, like this one where uh, there's no root password set. So enter the current password for root. Uh, there isn't one, so I'll just press enter. Set a root password. Oh yeah. 
All right, new password. Let's go ahead and set that. I thought I fat fingered that. There we go. Okay, remove anonymous users. Yes, I don't think there are any. By default, disallow remote. Disallow root login remotely, of course. Remove the test database and access to it. Uh, sure, why not? Reload the privilege tables. Yes, all right. We are good to go. So now, if I try to log in as root. Ooh, access denied. Okay, let's put a dash P on the end there. Okay, enter the password. There we go. Now we are in uh, root. Logging in as the root user requires a password, which is what we want. And here we are. Welcome to the MariaDB monitor, server version 10.1.8, which happens to be the latest version as I record this. Uh, probably be a new version out before too long. They generally release new versions uh, almost monthly. So, all right, let's take a look and see what we've got. Let's show databases. And you'll see it's just the defaults, the, the basics, the internal databases, well, the in, information schema, the performance schema, and then the MySQL database. MySQL database uh, is just internal information for MariaDB's use. Uh, we don't really want to touch that in use. So let's go ahead and create a database. Um, and we'll call it my underscore database. There we go. Let's go ahead and use it. There we are, database changed. All right, we can do a show table, but we just created this database, so there's not gonna be any tables. So let's go ahead and create one. Create table, let's, we'll call it T1. Uh, we'll name the column, the first column A, and we'll make it an int, and that's it. So it's a very simple table. Oops, and let's insert into T1 values. One, two, three, four. There we go. Inserted four records. Uh, select everything from T1. And there we go. Looks like everything is up and running. Things are working the way um, I, ex I would expect them to. Uh, uh, I will be posting further recipes where we get into a lot of the features of MariaDB um, and and uh, learn more about some of the plugins, some of the uh, more advanced things that you can do with MariaDB. But um, that's it for now. Um, have a great day.